this is kind of the place you want to be as uh oh okay. let's see if mert's still oh, terrifying boy. can mert still be scary the 17 like he he's just well, got the aura oh, oh my god marco all right is, i'm no i can't talk bad about the sks ever again if this is what you mean by aura where a teammate is shoot uh, setting up a crossfire with you to just clothesline anyone driving through your area then yeah mert's yeah got that's it. mert that's yeah. mert dog yeah he's got it the 17 losing 100%. a player definitely not what they wanted, but they're gonna go for another central position here. Montenegro ever SSG have not a lot of contestants just yet, but with so many teams so close to each other, it really is just the amount of buildings and hardcover that's keeping the fights oh. really breaking out. Or H win was hoping that hardcover would do a lot more for him as he gets dropped and fully confirmed by Capitan. So already Sonics once again a member down and oh. same thing for Danaba. Rex taken out. BB, he's still fragging out. He's still beaming them. Goaded. I mean, what do you what do you even want to say? I mean, he's picking people out of moving vehicles in the middle of OPSM. Looks like they have decided to move around since having that high ground of scouting. Good shots from Alo, and to keep Sonics from overpeaking that. Yeah, this is a very precarious hill for TSM to try and play around. They can do, do some good damage, some heavy damage, but as center as it is, you could be seeing shots from multiple angles. I think the dips are going to be there to allow them to have the defense. Just as Liquid is, Jeems is defending his team, Liquid from Oath roaming around, trying to take over more positions on the east edge here. Mm -hmm. 43 seconds before we see where phase two goes. Will TSM center send be effective? Or are we going to have another hard shift in the books? Uh, yeah, that's what we're kind of looking at just before we saw Genji getting a little bit close to heroic and he got Fury as well just kind of off to the west as everybody's just kind of stacked on top of each other here page gonna take some shots from insight good damage coming through from insight as the tires will get taken out asura will actually protect sweet sweet page and inside will have to duck back down <laughs> see now he's thinking who was he shooting at anyway <laughs> <laughs> so they at least got one but uh, yeah don't like don't like to see the the, the feet slapping the ground and the the wide open spots just south oh, no. of El Pozo. That's a little dangerous. As Ronan will peek out. up over the top, find Penta, take shots at Alo as well, and that's going to be enough for TSM to kind of pull back. And looks like Ronan's going to do the same. Oh. Okay, doesn't bounce far enough, and with the health that Alo had, it wasn't really much of a concern. But still, my heart. <laughs> Jump for Anytime we see second. those grenades. Yeah, I know. Just just for a moment. They're not even as powerful as they used to have, used to be, but still. It's, we're just trained, man. We're, yeah. we're, we're It's ingrained into us to be uh, terrified of grenades. Response. Exactly. Lambu going to take some shots from Capitan. Will he be able to break line of sight? Looks like he should flip the vehicle. Eh, one more. Easy. Done. He's fine. He's good. He's good. All planned. All according to plan. All according to Kaikaiku. Sneaking into the western yeah. side. Not a lot of cover for them, but it's safe passage into phase two. And with Montenegro Ever already fully stacked with as many teams as they are, as well as the hills to the west of it, you really can't ask all too much. Liquid's still waiting for Jeems to rotate in, but they did send Ibiza up to the high ground, slowly making their way, slowly finding space. KPI going to be trying to make their way on this western side of Montenuevo, but Sonics is sitting good. there waiting. Capitan loses a tire, but Mime can't land the shots. Unfortunately, just the way the vehicle turned, every bullet was hitting vehicle, unfortunately. And now Capitan, well, he had to go yeah. somewhere, I guess. You can't get that lucky twice in a row. Sharpshot's going to finally <laughs> take him out. So KPI are down to three because of a unfortunate rotational mishap. TSM trying to send it in. First vehicle makes it. Oh, no, Penta just dropped, but at least maybe a low with two HP left can get the revive. Clib just doesn't Ooh. have the angle for the final shots. He's going to bring his partner inside, fully inside <laughs> the building just in case. And yes, the revive has come through, but TS Liquid are on the lurk while that's happening here on the south. Genoa driving right next to Genji. How are Dana was there? Wasn't they in a position in the circle they already? Were? Anyway, either way, they've rotated away from the spot for whatever reason and now have to contend with Genji. I, I guess Donawa didn't like holding down that compound in the center of the circle as a, as a three-man, so instead they decide to pull more towards the edge, take that high ground, and as a result, they're going to see Genji making a rotation down below them. Uh, a few shots will come out, no damage really, but it's at least letting Genji know that somebody is up here as Leclo will take a few 
shots it back in his direction. And of course, of course, of course. Rio is on his own. Yes. Uh, and of course, he's going to go on the push as well. Listen, this Maybe guy, if, he, if he's landing his shots, if he's if he's fracking out of his mind, he can do some amazing Ooh. work. It's all about how he spaces himself with the rest of Gen G. Asura going down. Could make Theo's push a little riskier. He's going to take it slow. And then Salute's also grouping up with the rest of Janawa. So there's going to be a four versus three. He needs a knock. He's hoping for a knock from his other teammates before Pio really takes this position. But where is the circle going to send? Is going to shift oh towards the God. east. So now these two Korean teams need to wonder, is this fight worth it? I think Genji look at the Gen consider it worth it very much. Immediately in the vehicles and immediately Donawa in their vehicles and out the door. They're not going to take any risks. They, I think I, if they didn't know who it was, they uh, at least had an idea that as soon as that circle shift popped that they were about to get crashed so they're going to go ahead and send a ghibli going to make their way across that northern side of the circle they're going to run into the trailing parts of parts of oath here as kickstart will be the last one to get in a vehicle fury going to take some shots at them as they make their way through vp going to for force them back down and look at spear just chasing kickstart that's very bold spear as he gets to get right next to the compound he's going to go oh. down snakers gets traded back as adder is extremely low he'll go down and now it's just down to lambu he will finish off kickstart but oath down to relo so the revive, so the revive. Okay, I think if the timing is there for Oath, they can get three members back up. But what a drive by two piece for Adder. Oof. Oh, absolutely sick stuff. Unfortunately, not going to be enough to have Ghibli's chances stay. They want this same compound. Have Oath been able to revive enough players? Looks like they have been able to get the revives off and the heals already through. Some grenades, pre nading getting done here. Not going to find anything. Actually, one going down. So it's just down to Relo and Snakers as they're getting fully crashed here by Gen G. Snakers will find an Onyx. He'll find Esther. He He'll find Pio. Snakers, Gen G, what are you doing? They're just pushing into the same kill spot and they get absolutely annihilated. Snakers peeking back and forth around that corner was absolutely huge. The timing was perfect for him. And while he did get dropped in the end, his teammate was there to save him, and they can remain as a duo. Genji out in heroic. Ooh, T-Bone burning. I don't know if the bandage is going to come in in time. It looks like it is, but also Ents pushing from the southwest onto New Happy's compound. See Ents being very methodical about how they pull this off. SSG, meanwhile, they're going to find Shrimzy on the drive by mine we'll try to trade one back he's going to take some big damage he's got to be careful he's the last one up he is the last one down as sonics go out in 14th place ssg will take over that spot but look at the look at the craziness going on at the top of the hill on the high ground here you've got liquid 17 you've got heroic all battling for the same spots degree down oh and now it's all into squeaky grenade comes out as well as the first aid kit, but New Happy are holding down their compound very successfully. Ooh, trying to go for a spray. He's able to get another knock. Makes it a one versus two. It's not over yet. You can see the wrap coming through on that side by Ming. He'll spot him out. He'll take the shots. He'll get the kill. And there you go. New Happy will lose one, but they win the fight for the South as Heroic will take care of 17 gaming. They do lose T-Bone. They should be able to get the res back on the page here, but they've still got work to do as they've got to make their way into the circle. And you see Liquid just sitting there waiting yep. as SSG will loot up whatever was left off of Sonics. And Fury still hanging out on this northern side. Haven't made a move just yet. They'll take some shots over at SSG as they pass by. Oh, the shots aren't landing, though. They need to defend OSSG, oh, but they're not trying to take that hillside. They don't find it valuable. They're going to be trying to find a position in the center of the circle, find a dip to lay down. But Danawa are already here. This is within grenade range of a couple of different teams. So they need to steal Danawa's position. Oh, the no. shots come out from Salute. But again, they're not exactly landing, but low enough for Stolen Leclo to find the remaining bullet. Sharp, Sharp shot. shot with the potential clutch, but it's not going to happen for the damage to Danawa. Is there any team in position to take advantage? Looks like BBL may be leaving their compound. They start creeping up over there. But meanwhile, in the city, you've got a just absolute mess going on here. As KPI down to Silzen and Draft Game, they've got TSM off to the north. Actually, they've got Emmy alive still as well. Liquid on their south side. Here you go. BBL left their compound. They're going to find the re-knock on Leclo. Get the flush as well. The smoke's keeping down a while alive for right now. But what a grenade. He's going to find the knock on to salute the follow-up. Might be able to finish off Soul. He's going to have to back out just to make sure he doesn't go out to any residual 
utility getting thrown his way. Oath looped all the way down to the south side, fo found a shack for themselves, and BBL trying to put some pressure their way, but BBL are 100% in the driver's seat. They do back away. They don't want to overextend because of how many teams are still on that west side. They allow Danawa to get the revival into Salud, so they're still as a duo. But they're going to have to defend against a number of teams likely pushing in onto their position. Their only hope Lee? is that all of these Monte Nuevo refugees are going to be dealing so much damage to each other that it's going to make their time easier. But still, precarious position for Danawa. You see Liquid starting to try to find a foothold on the other side of the street. Unfortunately, uh, Ibby gets spotted out by TSM. He'll get knocked and flush. Mixie will find a better spot, although New Happy now wrapping around down to the south. So Liquid might be in trouble here as Jeem's going to get taken pretty low here by a nice spray from KPI. It's going to be Emmy that does the damage, tries to follow it up with the nade, but doesn't find the knock. Where is the circle going to go? Phase six, moments away. It's, oh, Salute going down from DraftKing is not great because BBL are still oh, BBL. trying to maintain control. They've only backed away for a split second. Smash confirms Salute down, and now it's all into Soul. And with the circle going BBL's way, all of those Montenegro teams are going to be rolling over those hills. But Danawa, unfortunately, not going to be alive to see it as Smash lands the final bullet. Well, BBL... Looking good, obviously. I mean, they've got a, a compound. They've got the hill. They've got the center of the circle. They've got everything they could possibly want, except you've got s every team here on the edge of the zone. I mean, you've got a full four-man Fury squad that's off to the north. you got VP, full four up, that are just kind of hanging out here on the edge. TSM still have three, and you've got whatever's left of KPI and Team Liquid uh that are hanging out on this western side so uh, i mean you gotta imagine bbl is obviously in the driver's seat but i i don't i, I don't know who's gonna be the one that takes the if they're if they're gonna get the kills if they're uh you know i feel like any one of these teams could cause problems here yeah that's it's not gonna be super comfortable over hold because of how many teams and how many players are still up into this if they back away and let everyone else fight it out, like what Liquid are doing right now, damage onto KPI, then we'll see what BBL can pick up here. But Virtus Pro with a good rotation, avoiding all the combat, just trying to take a position in the center. Close to where Danawa we're at. So we'll see if they can defend against Fury's angle as well as BBL and also New Happy pushing in from the south. High ground overlooking Liquid's position. Yeah, Liquid. Cool. Mixie will get knocked. Clib did find one off of KPI. DraftKing now the last one up as KPI tried to send a ZP on. We'll get the flush on to Mexi. Jeems already on the other side of the street, however. Fury trying to make that cross. Matrelli is going to make it difficult for him. Code Marco will find the knock on the flood as well. And now the two, uh, I think it's Ronan and Insight still alive for Fury. They still got to hop in a vehicle and get on the move. As Mert will get knocked low. The smoke wall will come out for TSM. They'll make their way across the street. Purdy will steal that kill away Get from White Kick and Moo Cow. It's down to just Ronin. Where is he? Oh, wait, Ronin on inside. Actually still in there. Okay, there we go. Code Marco will find one spray. Ronin now all by himself uh, for real this time, but he makes it to the wall. Okay, 1v1 versus Smash. Done and dusted. Yeah, BBL good hold there. Now TSM taking Fury out, pushing them away to another Shark's Teeth. Have to defend against BP, and now Mert also wants part of this engagement. Oh, BP in the game. middle of multiple teams, but Chulin forced to focus on one team, and he is the only one remaining from his squad, so very likely he will be taken out soon. Well, VP just kind of sandwiched between everybody. Mert has been knocked, and he's kind of on an island by himself right now. Matralis and Code Mark are going to have to roll around. Smash keeping eyes on Oath down to the south as TSM slowly creeping up. The circle does center up once again. Onto BBL Smash will hop in the vehicle, try to go over in there and get the res. Batulins gets taken down, and that's going to be Virtus Pro eliminated. Should get the res onto Mert though for BBL, as TSM still hanging on this north side, trying to find angles on a new Happy right now. As new Happy's just looking everywhere. New Happy know that Oath are behind them. They want to make sure that they're not backfilled and stabbed in the back when they engage against TSM if they want to push up the west side. But Oath are not moving. They have a vehicle. They're mm -hmm. finally getting in and. Trying to send it into the circle, but oh. a very difficult position Oath found themselves in. Solid control, solid sneaking into the late game by the remaining duo. 
but now we are down to the top three. 4v3v3. This could be anyone's game. BBL got the revive, and so they still have the hill in the center of phase seven. DSM and New Happy both on the west of that very same hill, likely fighting each other, but BBL again with the high ground could be dictating who engages whom where. Nine kills so far from Atrelius, Comarco, and Smash, and Mert is just as terrifying in the late game as he was in the early game. As BBL spreading out across that ridge line, they've got a good idea of just about where everybody is. TSM, unfortunately, are kind of pinned down all on top of each other. They're gonna drop the smoke wall, try to spread out a little bit, but you see the damage that they're taking. Good shots coming out from Smash. New Happy, meanwhile, waiting for their time to strike. Betrelli's gonna land some more shots into Purdy as the last offensive throwable will come out and it won't find anything. But look at this, New Happy, the long wrap around. They've got three together. They're gonna look for the sh surprise attack on a BBL here. Code Marco will force them back down. BBL forced to fall away because of the pressure from New Happy that gives New Happy space. Birdie has been knocked for TSM. Should be able to get the revive. No, he's actually way too close to center. So TSM gonna have to try and clear some space of their own if they want to pick up their captain, pick up their IGL. And now that TSM find themselves in the worst position within these top three teams. It ain't great, but they can, they can find some way to get this win. That would be the best present ever for Purdy Curdy, the birthday boy. Unfortunately, Penta gonna get spotted out by Smash and finished off by Metralia. So now it's just down to Alo. New Happy, they started to make that push, but the hold from Code Marco was just enough to force them back down. And now BBL can just focus all their attention over towards TSM or at least uh, two members, three members worth of attention. Code Marco has since pulled back to the compound to kind of take shots from range, but it looks like he's been spotted out by Ming now. So this might be Code Marco in a little bit of trouble. Whoop. Is he the one in trouble or a new happy? Because that shot goes directly into Ming off of the single peak. Good grenade. Might be able to fall oh, just oh. not far enough, but still it might be pushing BBL even further back, allowing New Happy to claim even more space for themselves. BBL keeping four up into the late game is huge, but if they keep delaying the engagement if the damage from new happy is enough to force him to fall away who, who knows if that manpower is going to stay va uh, that valuable to them because the high ground is now on new happy side yeah the biggest problem right now they still can't focus a uh, hundred percent of their attention over on a new happy because they have to worry about alo who's just raining grenades down on top of him he's still got two in the bag as Ming gonna spot out code marco yet again alo trying to probe to see if he can find anything with these last couple of grenades but fortunately for him bbl just not giving look at, like, yeah look at that yan had the free shots on alo and he's like you know what no he's actually a bigger distraction for them than he is for us so that is a big big brain plays coming out for new happy exactly we don't have the recruit mechanic just yet in this game but new happy are still trying to make it work allowing alo to distract bbl to try and do some damage but unfortunately takes too much force to fall away has a few more heals that he can utilize, but New Happy, they're waiting for the prime opportunity. They know that he's going to be on a short leash, and yes, he finally goes down to Betrayal. So unfortunately for New Happy, BBL still have four up, and now BBL can focus on the single angle that New Happy are going to be coming from. BBL still have control of the center of the circle, but HS swinging around the side, trying Ooh. to find an angle to break into this hold. That's a nasty wrap from HSM, as they were not able to spot him. Changing up, he'll get a nice little line of sight here as the smokes come down for ZPN. He'll try to hold on to the top for as long as he can. Unfortunately, Code Marco has a little bit of an angle. It looks like Code Marco may have spotted out HSM here as New Happy trying to spread out here, get multiple lines of sight. But BBL being very, very disciplined with their peaking, not giving up too much here. 12 kills already for this squad, and they are setting up for a victory here. But a lot of work left to be done. More grenades come out from HS. I don't think they're going far enough. Okay, that one might have. Very, very low. That could give the opening for them to continue that push, and the rest of BBL are falling back because of the angle that HS is holding. And that means that Zipion can push up from the north side. So the, the wrath is coming around. However, New Happy need to make sure that none of them get knocked. The smokes are keeping the high ground players safe. 
but they need to strike at the same time for this crossfire to be worth it, for this crossfire to be valuable. The spray comes through. Can't quite get the knock, but the grenade might be able to do the trick. Nice grenade coming through. It bounces the wrong way off the tree, but there you go. A trade. Code Marco go down, goes oh. down. ZP on the high ground goes down. HSM finds Metralius with the grenade. HSM trying to peek through the smoke to see if he can find any shadows. Not finding anything just yet. HSM and Ming hanging out outside of the smoke. They are in the commanding position right now. As BBL, you can see, are trying to smoke off New Happy. Nobody wants to be the one to come through the smoke because they're going to be the first ones to get shot. We've seen this play out time and time again hsm ming just holding the edges they'll find smash it's down to just mert can he solo 1v2 he'll find the first one ming will the spray through the smoke but he doesn't find the knock mert still alive but look how low he is he has to med if he wants the chance the blind spray almost found him but he met it on up one versus one he's able to god survive. what did i say chat what did I say? Mert, the most terrifying player in the entire BBL squad as they clutch out a victory. What a performance from BBL. That was so close for New Happy. Three versus four and the angles that they were able to make. Code Marco holding those, holding those boxes on the side wasn't as strong of an anchor as BBL were hoping that he was but New Happy still used that terrain to their advantage to find the shots, find the opportunities, both the man advantage and Mert. BBL Mert. survive and they make their way to the weekend. Mert only gets kills in 1v2s. He doesn't need kills throughout the rest of the game. He'll he'll you put him in a 1v2 though. He cleans them up all day. Well, that's going to do it for game number four. Let's throw it over to our analyst desk to hear what they have to say about that BBL victory. I mean, listen, guys, the 1v2, you only have to win the last one of those, right? And Merc manages to do just that. Big Boss Life punching their ticket into the weekly final. And I, I don't know about you, Chunks, but I'm pretty sure I didn't breathe for the last 20, 25 seconds of that fight. I am shocked. I mean, it looked like it was going to be BBL's game for the longest time when they were in that compound and obviously grabbed uh, control of the hill. But then New Happy kind of turned things around when it came down to the final fight. It was two versus four and all it took was one big frag grenade and two of the BBL players were down. It looked like it was going to go the way of New Happy, especially when they got the third knock and took Mert down to just one HP. But... Ice in his veins, clearly, I mean, able to get that first aid off, clutch it out against both players. He went down to one HP, healed, and then got taken down to three HP. That was amazing to watch right there. And it just shows that this team are extremely focused. We saw the, the heart rates of one of their players set to dead zero. That is focus <laughs> and discipline right there. They are just that good and that professional. They don't get stressed literal ice in their veins uh that last fight was insane there were a couple of things rick that you brought up while we weren't on air and i want to give you the 200 iq for that because uh you mentioned that smash didn't have any grenades and we were getting a little bit worried because he's so godlike with those look at that without those grenades he still had eight kills and then you mentioned another player might have had a mark 14 mark 14 earlier in the match but ended up swapping that out as well that was so tense yeah, I mean, where do you think Smash got eight kills from if he wasn't tossing out those grenades to wipe out Danawa and the like earlier on and then third party right. onto the battles up north? He got so many kills out of TSM, VP, Fiori as they were all crossing in from the north and holding on to that position. But it left them lacking for grenades and utility in the late game and that's what New Happy had in their favor to get those first opening knocks. It was, it was a bit of a fortunate bounce off the tree that it came back towards them just as bbl were making the push to get the knock and we were a little bit worried for them because the trades were coming in one for one and as the team with the numbers disadvantage you never want that to be the case you need to be getting knocks sure. for free and trading them and chunks you called it out like they might have missed their opportunity when mert was crossing between the smokes to catch one out and get that free knock and as it turns out that was really the deciding factor one little extra tickle of damage on towards him was all that it meant his health was so in the red in the final one versus one spray down battle so any more damage that they could have dealt to mert particularly getting the knock earlier on and it would have gone in new happy's favor but in the end come down to a very cool clutch from bbl who'd been battling their way through pretty much the whole time after coming down as one of the very few teams who didn't have to make their way out from monte similarly to new happy from the southern side but in the end the high ground position meant less than the numbers advantage for bbl 
look, I, I mean, uh, Chunks, you did call a couple of those things out towards the end of that game. About, I think both sides must have had about five different micro things that could have gone in their favor or not that dictated that outcome. That really did hang on a knife edge. There was one big thing that happened there that I, I mentioned, obviously we weren't on air at the time, that I think would have changed the tide of the fight. And I'm not sure how many yep. people in chat maybe noticed it, but Bing, as soon as Mert went to cross from one smoke to the other and there was a gap in between, he looked over to his right and he missed the player crossing between the smokes, which meant that Mert didn't get spotted. He didn't take any damage. And look, one bullet would have made the difference. It would have taken Mert out and I think it would have got New Happy the win.